Hey, what's up? I'm Andrew Bacon. So not every tool belongs in the garage. Some tools belong in the house. So when we moved into our new house with a little more square footage and more floors, we wanted to upgrade our vacuum situation. So we chose the Dyson Ball Multi-Floor Two, And so you're going to see all the features online and on their website and all that good stuff. But I wanted to show you just a down to earth unboxing and a couple little things that I've learned about it that I really like. So check it out on this episode of Field Treasure Designs. Let's open this bad boy up. So the packaging is pretty good. Even though the box was a little bit damaged, they use cardboard really well to organize everything. And so pulling the components out, there's the head. Here's some other pieces as well. But yeah, it's organized really well and it makes it really easy to unpack and it feels like everything's protected, which is nice. So now here's the main body and pulls out real easy. Classic plastic protection right here. So I pull that out and now you can see the body and now the ball feature. Next, I was taking the manual off and that extra padding, but it kind of gave me some trouble. And so I also realized I needed to change the camera angle so you could see it a little bit better. But that's the main collector bin there that replaces the traditional bags of most vacuums. And so one of the things we love about this is that all the debris that you vacuum up goes into that canister and then you take it off you hold it above your trash can and you press that button and it collapses that or it releases that bottom and it allows you to dump out that canister super easy. So next I'm unpackaging all of the components. So this is the wand and it is that good plastic that Dyson makes. It's smooth to the touch but it's also strong. This is the main handle that you grip to control the vacuum. It's got some tags on it and it shows you some features on how to use it. So I just tore that right off. Next is an extra wand and a brush, which is really cool. It shows the Dyson ingenuity, and so they don't waste anything. And so you've got the brush and the wand kind of in one, which is pretty cool. And so that way you don't ever lose it. So it can go up for some brush feature, dusting, that kind of thing. And then it can go back for some fine-tuned suction. So that's really cool. And here's the main head. It's definitely weighty and obviously it's a huge part of the vacuum. It's got that roller brush inside. It's going to hook in in a second and then that's a small little one that can connect to the little component for a little smaller to reach places. So I lay the vacuum down and I'm going to attach the head now. It's a really easy installation. It just clicks right in and you'll see here in a second. It kind of makes you feel like it might be flimsy but once it's attached it's surprisingly really strong and it feels good and that's it. Boom. Next, I was going to slide in the wand, but then I realized I hadn't taken off that little protector there. And so I had to take off the canister, take off the little protective cardboard, and put it back in. Now the canister is back on, and I set it down on the floor to give me some more room to kind of show you what's going on here. So that's the main hose. Whenever you want to use the wand feature, the wand then goes down into that hose, and then I realized, oh, I need to click in the handle. So I stopped for a second. I clicked in the main handle, which that doesn't go anywhere. Then I put the wand into the hose there, and then it clicks in. But it, whenever you want to use it, you unclick it, and I'll show you that in a minute. Then I flipped around the cord wrap keeper, and we should be good to go. Then I did a quick test. Yep, up and down, really easy. Now let's wrap the cord. The cord is another great feature of the Dyson. It's made of really good quality. Now, if you notice, I actually wrap it wrong here. I went up with the cord instead of down, but it's okay. I'll kind of show you how it goes. But like I said, the cord is really high quality. I've definitely got a bird's nest of a cord here, but the good news is, is this is probably the last time it'll ever be tangled, which is cool. And so I wrap it around, wrap it around, and then I realize, oh, I did it wrong. And so this is cool. You can unclick or click down that little holder, which allows you to release all of the cord at one time. Now I'm going downwards and I'm wrapping the cord in a better way. And then it stops just at the end there, allowing it to click into place, which is awesome. And that's it. The vacuum's ready to rock. So let's take it inside and test her out. So yeah, you just click that little guy down and you can pull off the entire cord, which is awesome. And by the way, it's been a few months since I did the unboxing. And so we can report that the vacuum has done really well. There's an on off button on the front there and then it just clicks back to start using it and there's the roller on off button as well. And so you can use the rollers to help you on the carpet obviously and then turn that off for the hardwood floor. So once I got the cords out of the way, start using it, 
it's really easy. I mean, you see all these on the advertisements and their marketing stuff, but yeah, the ball really does allow you to go in really cool different areas and, and be able to turn the vacuum a lot easier. So that's cool. And then the wheels pop down on the bottom, super easy. And then now I want to show you the attachment. So what's cool is you just pull up on the handle there and you can pull it out of the hose, which it's connected to normally. But what's cool is it only comes out a certain amount, so it'll extend it. On the old ones, it used to flip around, and so that's cool. So that's an automatic extension out of the hose there. You can use it to do those nooks and crannies. And then if you want even more detail, you can add the smaller attachment onto the tip there. It just clicks right in, which is super cool. And you can do the same thing. The other thing is you can grab that handle and pick up the vacuum to go with you really easy. So it's a really nice feature. I use this a lot. And then if you want the brush, the brush is right there. You just click the little button, slide it up, it clicks into place. You can use the nice soft part, the bristles, and then you can click it right back and never lose it. So that is super cool. You can take it right off just like that. It clicks right there into the attachment holder. And then there's one other attachment. I think it's usually for like stairs and other hard to reach places. It's kind of designed for like floor, has a little pad on the bottom there, and it works really well. Once you're done, you just unclick it and there's a place for it so you never lose it. Sweet. If you're in a really tight spot, you can also unclick the wand right there and grab the vacuum and just hold that hose, which is super flexible if you're in like a tight spot. So that's pretty cool. And then that sits right back up there. There's the wand. Oh, by the way, you can use this for sword fighting, which is pretty sweet. But the plastic really is strong, which is awesome. And then the wand clicks right down in there again. It slides just all the way down in, makes it nice and rigid, clicks in, click the top in, and then boom, it also clicks right back you can go right back to vacuuming without any setting problems. So that's cool. So yeah, we dig these features for sure. And then one last thing, the waste container, it clicks right off. You can carry it up to your trash can. You press a button, it'll empty into the trash, which is super cool. And then it just clicks right back into place. The filter is also located in the top of that canister and it's super easy to clean. Well, hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. If you got questions, feel free to write them in the notes below and I'll do my best to answer them. And in the meantime, take it easy and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.